on guys it's your boy Cecil here bringing us a video today bringing guys a Photoshop tutorial which is a very own cool simplistic series tech something we don't know yet just yet um but yeah this video series is more or less or this video series if you guys don't know simplistic series itself it's just something i like to do that just takes zero sort of like amount of time very quick sort of designs and very simple as well so beginners can just really honestly pick it up and have a lot of fun with it and it might look complicated but it's really really not it's really dope to do and it's just really simple just little simple tricks here and there and um I personally did this video because I wanted to do a nice little style that kind of complements the 100 series pack. So if you guys haven't downloaded the 100k pack yet, um, it's like from two weeks ago or so, I'll put the link in the description for you guys as well. It's simply free, right? It has a few stocks, but all those stocks are very nice and quality, and you're going to like them. Hopefully, I, I personally have seen a lot of people already love it, and it just kind of really goes with the current theme of the, um, how you say, the uh, the trend of 2019 right now. So with that being said, guys, if you guys want to download that, please go ahead and do so. Also in the description down below, most likely will be this brush here, because you're going to need this brush. I don't know if you guys can find your own brushes whatever but um for this instance i'm gonna give you guys this just because it's the one i use in today's video and then yeah so with that being said most likely guys watching this video i'm currently in los angeles chilling making sure my apartment's good and most likely a video tour after this is gonna be my apartment tour um well, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. I just have to do some videos now because today I have to record the videos. Tomorrow I have to ship my computer. Um, Friday I have to fly. And then all that, you know, how it goes, you know. So, all right. With that being said, though, I want to just one more time. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. I appreciate you subscribing to me. I appreciate you guys for rolling with me. And I appreciate you're going to listen to my voice for the next, like, 20 minutes or so. Um, still sick. But for some reason, before I lose my voice completely, I just go with this deep voice. It sounds like I assume it's like super manly. Um, <laughs> but maybe this will fit my voice, my physique better. <laughs> With that being said, though, two likes in the video. If I haven't said it before, I, I have no idea. Um, two likes in the video, you'll see it down below, and it will most likely be the PSC that you guys see here today. And with that being said, we're concluded. Let's get this thing going. All right, guys. So as I said before, this is actually super simple, very quick, and hopefully you guys will just understand it, be able to really create your own and kind of like have a lot of fun with it. Um, okay. So the first thing is first is you have to make your own background that has a sort of like nice noise feature. So if you guys have no idea how to make noise, it's very, very simple. All I'm going to end up doing is changing my foreground color to black. Pressing all backspace. That will quick fill the actual color that you guys selected in that new layer. So now we have a black background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to filter, noise, add a noise. So the noise levels that I have here, I'll just put it for 20 for just this you know instance. Uh, it's 20 amount and the uniform uh, distri uh, distri uh, distribution. Okay, English is hard. And then monochromatic, if you guys do not have this checked, you just get these little red and yellow and green um, dots. And that's not what you want. So make sure you click monochromatic and it'll make it nice and black and white for you guys. And so once you have the noise, you just simply press OK. And to make the noise look a little more less black and white and less kind of boring in a way, I had it a nice little simple gradient map. So go to your adjustments layer here, go to gradient map, go to your gradient map, simply click on it. I have one saved already. It would be this one. So this one kind of makes the, the lighter tones, a nice little sort of like grayish green, uh, grayish blue. And so if you guys want to copy me, the black on the left hand side is just simply black, right? And on the right hand side, the hex code for this nice little lighter blue sort of tone is hex code 434B5E. And then you simply just take your midpoint from the middle here, right? It's really, really dark at first. Take your midpoint, which is this little diamond shape here, move it over a quarter. So you have like a basically a quarter left to the left. Um, just like so. And you get this nice little sort of um, vibe. It looks really nice and good. And this is what I want. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of like part right here where I just simply kind of did this really cool typography uh, feel to it. You guys have as much fun as you guys want with this. But simply, all I ended up doing was typing the word simplistic. By the way, if you guys cannot, uh, one little fun fact about me. Um, simplistic is my favorite word of all time. All time. Um, okay, so simplistic and what I ended up doing is I put an X at the end because I'm freaking edgy um, The way I did the simple little or little X that has this sort of like uh, thinness to it um, If you guys can't tell as well the IS this right here this portion right here is also a little bit of a thinner sort of weight than the uh, SIMP L so these are a different weight than these right here So this is more thicker This is more thinner and then I kind of just made these really nice little sort of transitions and typography feel that gives you guys different weights and then we go, of course, afterwards at the end is going to like more of a stroke. So for this instance, if you guys have a font family um, that you like, that's really simple and clean, like Gotham Black in my case, um, I can just take the IST here. I'm going to change this from Gotham Black to Gotham um, Medium. Okay, this is going to make it a nice little skinnier. So see, uh, this is more uh, thicker, get skinnier. And then what I'll do here is I'm going to take a duplicate of this. And only, you can just simply press Control J on your keyboard that is Control 
plus J. You can make a duplicate just like so. You see how I clicked into this layer, press Control J, makes a duplicate. Um, or you can hold Alt on your keyboard, okay? Hold Shift as well while you're selected on that layer and simply just move it over to the right, okay? I'm gonna press T on my keyboard to bring up the actual text tool. Double click on this text here and press X, of course, right? And I wanted to have this X here. And then for this X, I'm gonna turn it off the uh, fill all the way down to zero. Um, if you guys know the opposite between uh, uh, opacity and fill, if you guys know the opacity to 100 uh, to zero from 100, it of course goes completely. You can't see it no matter what. Um, and if you turn your fill all the way down to zero, you can't see it no matter what. However, if I double click on this layer right here, the X layer, right? Layer styles. Well, all my layer styles, however, will still be shown as long as my fill is at zero, not my opacity. So if I just want to show you guys really quickly, everything's gone. Okay. And then everything's gone besides the layer styles. And that's what you can want. So that's how you make that really simple little stroke X right there. And then with that being said, I can go to my pack here. We'll go to where, what layer? Maybe it was this one, linears. Uh, for some reason, it's moved. Okay. There we go. I took this box here. Um, by the way, if you guys don't know how to select things in the pack without going through each and every single one, as long as you guys have your move tool selected, right? Your move tool. Now, a lot of you guys already know if you hold control on your keyboard and you select something on the layer, it'll actually grab it for you guys. You see how this is working? I'm holding control. I select here, right? Grab it. If I need to like drag over or something, if I can't get one like very simply, if it's too skinny like these lines, hard to click on, you can just hold control, select and hover around the area and select it. You see how I can just select this right here, move it. Holding control, selecting it, moving it, holding control, dragging, selecting it, moving it. If you guys do not have this option selected, it's very hard for you guys to navigate my pack a little bit. Um, and also, if you guys have the selection be only a group, if you guys did not know, if you change it from layer to group, that's how you guys make sure you select each individual layer and not a full group. Um, so layer, take this box, drag it in, and we're going to take this baby. Uh, let me also put in this other part where I put in like, I think it was like 001 because we're number one. That's literally why I did it. And I ended up taking these little two slashes here that I just did, opening up the characters table. So Windows character, if you guys want to have this table enabled, uh, I'm going to lower my uh, size down here a little bit, just like so. Okay, I think I like this. I'm going to make this a little skinnier though. So I'm going to use medium or bold. Control T, free transform it, make it nice and small, like something like that. Okay, I'm gonna take these little two little uh, lines here. I'm gonna make them a color for now, which is gonna be like this color here. It's nice little yellow. And this will do is help me set up a space that we can then go ahead and take our boxes here and kind of just move them. So if you guys do not know already, um, if you guys have, I believe it's Windows uh, or is it View? Is it View? Where is it? I forgot where it shows you your smart rulers or your smart. Um, these little block guidelines, you can see that those purple lines that end up moving when I move this thing over. You see how it makes sure it tells me like, hey, all the spacing is perfect. I forgot if that's enabled automatically as long as you have the newest version of Photoshop. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure about that. So if anyone wants to tell me whether or not, uh, I know it doesn't show up if I don't have my ruler sometimes, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to turn this on if it's not on by default, but kind of just make sure you guys get enough spacing if you guys want to have that enabled, um, get enough spacing. But I'm going to say right here and around here, and I'll do one more. And if it's just a pretty, it's actually pretty perfect when it comes to that. It's like right at the S, stops right here. I like that. It's a little bit more, I think, than my other one here, but I mean, it still looks pretty cool. And if I want to, I can group them all together. I just did. I can select the first one, hold shift, and select the last one. Control T, right? That'll select all of them. Also control T them, free transform them, shrink them down a little bit, and then move it over more toward the middle. And then we can do that. Yeah, I think I like that. Cool. Um, okay. So do something like that. Alright. I think I I think I like that. Okay, cool. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead, let me make sure I lock this layer. I'll select this, move this up a little bit. Just like that. Uh, what I'm finding out really it's a little bit, it's a little uneven than my other one, but whatever, tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna keep moving on. Um, so the next part here is I'm gonna take that nice little brush that I have. We're gonna go to uh, the unnamed pack. I'm gonna take this. You won't have the unnamed pack. That's just something I did for me to put some stocks in that I have created or didn't create and I wanna create um, kind of thing. So I'm gonna just take this brush here, move it around right here. I'll rotate a little bit. Something like that, I think looks pretty good. 
right i think it looks good we'll take this move that over a little more all right i'm gonna take this now move it over to the right hand side if you guys have different brushes that you guys like to use please go ahead and do so now i already have so first context by the way if you're using sorry i hit my mic um if you guys are using different brushes okay all you have to make sure you get is uh end up doing is lower your opacity about two percent from uh 100 if it's a full black brush um you can see actually right here if i press Control j you'll see that it gets darker and darker because it's actually a lower opacity um, brush. And it comes in clutch because when you guys put on a picture over it, you get this really cool look to it. So I end up doing, make sure you guys, if you guys have, it's full black, right? Lower your opacity like one or two notches, simply, okay? And it'll, it'll help that aesthetic pull in a little bit more. Um, otherwise, all you have to do is take your picture. I already have one. By the way, credits to Logan Dodson on Twitter, if you guys want to know who that is. Hunter T. Logan, um, or Hunter T. Dodson, I guess he goes by. He's a beast. I love him. I love him. And I just wanted to use his picture because he does a lot of pictures of sunsets. And so when I go ahead and clip mask it, you'll see and notice that the actual picture that you end up using, uh, make sure you guys are using high quality pictures, by the way. Um, make sure if you guys go to, uh, all right, guys, if you guys go to Google, sorry, I had to go do something really quickly. Google.com. Okay, if you guys are on Google, you guys type in the word sunset, and I'm gonna go to images, I'm gonna drag this over here now. Now, make sure you guys go to tools, size, larger than, anything over than two megapixels is pretty good. If you guys are using really quality or uh, crappy quality pictures, you're obviously gonna look, your design is gonna suffer from it. So make sure you guys are picking the highest quality possible, but I already copied mine from Logan's, like I said before, and uh, that's just how I got mine, okay? So, now you have it, you can see it. If I didn't have it inside the group though, you'll see how it, like it's not as dull, but since the actual brush itself that's over it and you clip mask it to it is one opacity or two notches below 100, um, it gets a nice little tone. It looks really, really good. And then the noise itself almost looks like it's almost like a painting of some sort. It looks super, super dope, super aesthetic. I freaking love it. And um, to kind of finalize this, what I ended up doing was going back to my 100 series pack, I went to the uh, texture elements. I believe I used number two here, the really nice little dots and some of them are bigger. Um, take this, drag this in over here. Oh, I freaking love this stock. I literally love this stock. Um, so what I ended up doing was I went ahead and used this right here, this layer mask. If you guys know what layer masking is, it's basically a really nice way to erase things as well and also being able to put them back in. So if I take a brush here, okay, I'm gonna take a black brush over this white. You'll notice a black brush erases, okay? Now if I erase it, if I change my brush from black to white, while I'm selected on that layer mask still, if I take that white and go over it again, you'll see it brings it back in. So, what we're gonna end up doing is using the black. I'm gonna take the black one here, take this here, and just kind of move them in like a cross checkered version. I'm going from right, left, erasing right, I'll erase them all over here left, and I'll erase them over here on the right. Kind of gives it a little more of a spatial feature, looks really good. And what I'll do now is I'll make a new layer, and with this new layer, I'm gonna clip mask this layer, just like so. I wanna take a nice little brush, I'm gonna make it yellow, press OK. I'm gonna take some of these little dots here and make them a nice little color, right? Gives a little bit of a different feel to it. That looks really good, I like how that looks. Now if you guys want to as well, I end up doing is I took this yellow, I took one of the things, one of them are yellow, I'm gonna take them and kind of copy the sunset color, right? Yeah, now I got like some two little tones right here, looks pretty nice. I can end up changing this color here too, of this little like square thing. Take this, I can change that color to something. I can then change like this one to something too, right? I don't know, kind of have fun with it, press OK. And um, pretty much the last thing I ended up doing was taking one extra stock um, right below the text, go to my 100 series, I believe it's number four, right? Taking this one, dragging it, and throwing it right behind the text, just like, so this, it's a cool little map stock that I made. It's the uh, world map, but it has a texture in it. It looks really nice. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's literally the sort of like very simple style I was talking about. I have no idea what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it like tech series simplistic. I have no idea, but hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys love it. And uh, as I said before, of course, guys, two likes on the video, you can see it down below, um, which will most likely be the PSD that you guys see here today. And uh, okay, so I, I think my voice gradually got worse. Um, to, I, I hate, I hate being, I really hate being sick. But I feel way better than I actually sound, so don't really worry about it. I know I sound like absolute trash. Um, but yeah, okay, that's going to be it for me today. If you guys like the video, uh, leave a like. Let's just, yo, we've been hitting like 300 likes every video. Uh, let's keep, let's can we keep it up. Like, we're freaking balling, bro. Um, all right, so I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter, at Sesso HQ. And I'll see you guys later. Uh, don't forget to keep smiling. Stay positive. 
and stay freaking productive guys later appreciate you guys love you and also for the literally like the 2,000 people who subscribed to me in the past week hello like hi love you <laughs>